story I'm going to tell you today comes from the great continent of Africa, far, far away. You see, a long time ago, they say, that in Africa, the sky was so close, you could reach up your hand, you could touch it, and you could break bits of sky off, and you could eat it. And it would come in any flavor. Mmm, strawberry, pineapple, chocolate. And that was great, because everybody had plenty to eat, whether there was a lot of rain or no rain at all. Now, some people got very, very greedy and they'd break off huge bits of sky, they'd carry them home, they couldn't eat them. And so they'd throw it up in the rubbish heap. And the rubbish heap got bigger and bigger and bigger until one night, poof, there was a thunderstorm and everybody sat up and they heard a voice say, tell your people to stop wasting me. If they don't stop wasting me, they'll see what will happen. People said, oh no, it's the voice of the sky. So from then on, they were very, very careful. They just ate tiny bits of sky. But you know, there's always somebody that spoils things for other people. The woman was called a DC, and she was so greedy. She wanted more and more and more. And one day she was coming along and she thought, oh, I'm still hungry, even though she'd had a perfectly good dinner. And she reached up her hand and <coughs> broke off a huge bit of sky. And she brought it home, but she couldn't eat it. She said to her children, come and help. They said, oh, mommy, we're full, we can't help. So she did the only thing she knew. She threw it in the rubbish heap. Well, that night, there was a thunderstorm <laughs> to end all thunderstorms. Everybody sat up, but no voice came. And the people thought, Phew, got away with that. But the next morning when they went out, the first thing they felt was the hot sun burning down in their heads. When they looked up, there, far above them, was the distant blue sky. And that, as you all know, is where the sky has stayed ever since. That's why the sky is far away. Mm -hmm.